The missing project is the most exciting project in all of biology right now. The goal is to sequence the genomes of 10,000 families that have autism spectrum disorder. We've known for many years that genetics plays an important role in autism and we've been looking at the DNA from families for well over two decades now using incremental advances in technology and in the last few years a new technology called whole genome sequencing <clears throat> which allows us to decode every single letter in the alphabet of the genome uh, is now available. We think this will be the, the largest genome sequencing project in the world for a, any different condition. 10,000 families, that's uh, at least 40,000 DNA samples or so, we think. We're embarking on this already. We've done roughly 1,000 families. Uh, the data that's starting to come back is, is exciting. It's telling us things that we didn't know earlier. Uh, and we think once we get into the tens of thousands of numbers, it's going to actually really unveil all of those genetic factors that we've been searching for for many years. So we're bringing different types of scientists uh, and professionals, health professionals, to look at the data. Physicists who look, are very good at looking at big, big data sets. Computational biologists, uh, molecular biologists, geneticists, developmental pediatricians, psychiatrists, you name it. We're going to assemble the teams to really understand this genetic information so we can put it in a form that families can use to benefit uh, their children. But I, I think the, um, the power of partnering with Google is that this is what they do. I mean, Google is an information science company and genetics is an information science. In fact, it's the ultimate form of information. Your genome is what is your blueprint for what makes you what you are. And Google's developed ways to handle these large data sets, to, um, to search through them, and to look for patterns that perhaps we're going to really benefit from. So that's what we do. Uh, I think the, what I'm excited about is, is it's the first time that we, we actually have these massive data sets. Uh, I've been in the field now for 25 years, and when I was a graduate student, the experiment I dreamed about, we're actually now doing. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really incredible to think you know, as a species, we've come to the point where we can actually decode our own genomes. I think I couldn't even imagine that even 10 years ago. And not only are we doing it in one individual, we're doing it in 10,000 families. So this is, this is groundbreaking. It's, uh, it's going to change everything uh, we know about autism and also everything we know about ourselves um, as individuals, as families, and how the history of our DNA sequences came together and why in some cases it leads to subtle variations in how we behave or how we act or how we respond or how we speak. I think this is a, the beauty of science. Uh, and in this case, because we're going to try to use that information to assist the families, um, it couldn't be a better project.